question I have for you today is, does your partner watch too much porn? Do they keep saying they will get help, but they don't? Do they make excuses about what they were doing or get defensive and try to talk about it? Is their behavior impacting you and your relationship? If you answer yes to these questions, you are not alone. We hear from so many people in this position. Their stories range in severity, but the bottom line is the same. Their partner has a problem and is not getting help. So what do you do? How do you help? How do you get them to move? Well, unfortunately, as I'm sure you already know, you can't force them. Even if, even if you try, right? And you can't try, but you can't force them to get help or actually change. But you do have an influence on them. You want them to get better, and that's coming from a place of love and care and concern. You can try and have open discussions with them and look at information together that could motivate them more to change. Maybe an article or YouTube video will finally resonate with them and be the catalyst they need. If you find one of our videos or posts that you think will resonate with them, see if they would be open to looking at it with you. We have had many people say that a particular video finally resonated with them and motivated them to reach out to us or to really put effort into the client group growth. So you can also set boundaries. You can decide what you're willing to tolerate. If their behavior is having a negative impact on you, then you can decide where you go to one. Not in an aggressive or ultimatum way, but in a healthy way. In the way that you will not be pulled under water with them, if they continue refusing to grab a life vest and try to swim, right? That doesn't make any sense. You can do all you can to try to help them, but if they continue to refuse help, spiral, and cause you pain and trauma, then you get to decide when it's enough. So you also can and must take care of yourself. And I will say this in every video I possibly can, because working through this is so hard and it takes a toll on you. And that can range from stressful to highly traumatic. You need to be taking care of yourself. You need healthy coping skills and you need friends or a therapist or a community that can be completely open, that you can be completely open with, and that can really support you. You cannot pour from an empty cup, which you may have heard before. You have to take care of yourself before you attend to others. So if your partner continues to refuse help, taking care of yourself is always the one thing that you have control over. If you need help or you need support or if any of this resonated with you, please reach out to us or call.